and also uh, take your medications take uh, your anti-inflammatory uh, medication like um, uh, every like just after uh, the operation you will need to take it for one month uh, to control the inflammation but just after this month I would suggest you to take it like uh, every week every week take take an anti-inflammatory uh, just to avoid uh, implant uh, rejection um, because if yeah uh, as any implant your body can uh, reject uh, can reject it um, it can be eyes implant or any breast implant or any implant you, you put um, and um, according to your follow-ups according to your uh, eye pressure control perhaps you will need to take um, a medication to control your eye pressure uh, which is really important because if your eye pressure is high you can uh, you can increase your likelihood to get uh, cataract and um, glaucoma and etc. Um, so always, uh, always take your medication. Uh, always do your checkups. Um, and in case, in case of, uh, in case if your endothelial cells count reduces, there is a very new drug, very new drug called uh, Repasudil. Uh, which has been approved by FDA um, it has been approved uh, by FDA for eye pressure control but it uh, has been demonstrated to also increase your uh, endothelial cells count um, just after surgery after cataract surgery or any here in our case it's bright ocular implants so in case if uh, your bright ocular implant is causing you a reduction in your endothelial cells count you can you can try to get repasudil with which is a drug uh, that will increase your endothelial cells count that you lose that you lost uh, just before uh, so yeah uh, we have every tool to um, to keep our eyes healthy it's just it all all is all depends on us if we um, we put the work to keep our eyes healthy or not right so yeah